Within several of our online discussions in our course, you will have the option to participate in video format. Let's take a quick look in this screencast at the process to record and upload a video into a discussion board post. Here you can see we are within our course or within the discussion board area and you can see our unit 6 discussion uh, is a video uh, discussion. You have the option to uh, post your response in video format. Again, this is your option. Uh, you can stick with a text response, but you do have the option in this particular discussion to respond in video format. To do so, you would click on the name of the forum to enter that forum just like you are accustomed to doing and clicking the Create Thread button to post your discussion. And again, you'll notice that within the forum description, I've included the questions that you can choose from. In this particular discussion, I have four discussion questions you can choose from for your initial response. And I've noted uh, that this is a uh, video format uh, discussion. You have the option to uh, respond in video format. There is a link provided for you to learn more about recording and posting a video if you'd like uh, some step-by-step -step assistance um, in more of a, a kind of a, a text guide that is available uh, on the Blackboard uh, On Demand Learning Center for you. Now, so to post this video response, we go down to the message area and we would give it a subject. As always, uh, I'd recommend that you begin your response. Uh, if you're responding to question two, you might uh, begin with Q2 and then uh, use some type of a descriptive subject line uh, for your response. I'm just going to use sample video response for mine. Now to post your video, you would click in the text box area here, the message box, and look for this icon. It looks like a small webcam. Uh, when you mouse over it, you should see the tooltip to record from webcam. And this is the uh, video anywhere tool that you uh, can invoke here within Blackboard. Clicking on that uh, button, you will see a a box open that will walk you through recording uh, or embedding a video directly within your post. Now you'll notice that uh, this is powered by YouTube. This feature uses uh, YouTube's uh, built-in video hosting and embed features to post your video directly within Blackboard. And you'll see here that this uh, webcam, it says webcam video, um, and I'm signed in as Jason Rohde. You will need to sign in to a Google account in order to use this feature. Uh, it's going to save the video to your YouTube page, but it will be unlisted. You'll notice that my privacy here is listed as unlisted. This is important. This means that while your video will be stored on your YouTube channel, it will be unlisted. It won't be visible to anyone in the public. It won't be searchable. In essence, it's invisible to anyone but those of us here in the class. And this way we can view it without having to uh, use a separate login to access your video. We can just view it within our discussion in Blackboard. So as long as we are signed in, we should be good to go. If you don't see this signed in as in your name, uh, you'll be prompted to sign into your Google account initially. Now to record from your webcam, you would click the record from webcam button. You do have some options here. Um, as you, in terms of your uh, Adobe Flash Player, um, you will want to select the microphone. You can see the microphone that you'll be using, and you can adjust your recording level right here. Um, you can also uh, select a video input source. If you had more than one uh, webcam connected to your computer, you could select the specific source. I only have my, my built-in uh, webcam, and so that's what I would, would use here to, to access this. And uh, so I'm going to close out of this. Now to start recording, I would simply click this allow button and then my recording would begin. Now because I am recording this screencast, uh, if I were to allow uh, recording at this point, it would kill my recording. So what I'm going to do instead of allow, which this is what you would want to click, you would want to click allow and then go through the process of recording. What I'm going to do is go up instead to this browse tab. And what this will do is pull up any previous videos that you have. Now where this is helpful is let's say you want to record your video response uh, using your mobile device um, and the YouTube app on your mobile device and save it to your YouTube channel is unlisted. If you do that you can then sign in through Blackboard and later embed it in your post. 
and that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick uh, a previous video that I've recorded. Um, in fact, I'm just going to use for the sake of this example here, um, I'm going to use this uh, introduction to our Unit 6 um, as my video. I can preview it. I could actually go ahead and insert it, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click the Insert, um, and then I'm going to have it just play in place um, and click this Insert button. And now you see that um, looks like there's a something placed here within our discussion. So if I go ahead now and click the Submit button, now I see my new discussion uh, post. If I click on this here, it opens, and here is my video, and it can be played directly within the the box. So what will happen for you is you will go through, click that accept button, you can record, and then when you're finished recording, follow the prompts to post your video uh, directly here within Blackboard. You can follow these same steps to respond to other classmates. So instead of responding in text, if you'd like to respond in video format, you're certainly welcome to do so in this discussion. Um, just uh, again, you would uh, reply to the video, and in the reply, again, you have the video option and you could follow the same steps to record your your video there. These features work really in any text editor within Blackboard. So any place where you see this text editor uh, with this uh, record from webcam button, you have these capabilities of recording uh, a video uh, and then having it be embedded directly within your post. So I hope you try out the uh, video anywhere feature. I look forward to our video uh, conversations in Blackboard. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, be sure to post those to the questions and answers forum here in Blackboard.